for all its inconveniences, Lang was satisfied with life in the high rise, ready to move forward and explore life. How he had not yet decided. I thought you were empty. I just moved in. You're an excellent specimen. You don't know how things work around here, do you? I'm a fast learner. Which floor are you? At 25. We're down in the bottom, and all sorts of shadows. Most families are. We pay the same charges as the top floors. We want our fair share of the power. Things would be better if we could afford to move to a higher floor. If you lower people, overload the system, there'll be power cuts. How's the high life? Prone to fits of mania, narcissism, and power failure. <laughs> You built all this. I put all my energies into this tower. Is that a horse? Probably. On the 40th floor. Your husband appears intent on colonizing the sky. And who can blame him when you look at what's going on down at street level? I think we should be prepared to meet moderate resistance. Perhaps you're right. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Teething problems. The building's still settling. Doesn't it seem odd that a man can fall from the 39th floor and not one police car turn up? Where's the sirens? What have you got there? A kaleidoscope. What can you see through that thing? The future.